Hello, Bobby Nesbitt here. I'm a local remodeling contractor and I'm about to start a new kitchen remodel here in Temple Hills, Maryland. Single family dwelling. And I want to share with you the area I'm going to be working in. I'm going to do a complete kitchen renovation. We're about to enter the house in the garage. Right out from the garage is the kitchen area. I want to show you what the kitchen looks like. Uh, the homeowner's already taken out everything in the cabinets and uh, took everything out of the way for me. And this whole kitchen area, cabinets, countertops, everything that you see here is going to be ripped out today. This is the tear out day. Okay. I'm going to allow the homeowner to uh, use the existing stove so they have something to cook on during the remodeling con uh, project. And they also are going to hold on to the, new ref to the old refrigerator because all new appliances, cabinets, floor, everything is, is going to be new. New granite countertops. This is going to be a complete kitchen remodel. And this wall right here is going to be taken out above the countertop so that it will be a more open look from about right here. From here onto the corner here is going to remain. But from here to here it's going to be taken out above the counter. And so there won't be a cabinet here because this will be all open space. And over here, this built in pantry is going to be completely ripped out because I'm putting a pantry cabinet here. Okay. I'm going to have new, a new floor covering with bamboo flooring. And I'm going to give a new paint job. We're going to also, I'm going to also replace the uh, ceiling fan with a, uh, a modern ceiling fan with a uh, brush nickel finish because that's going to be the finish of the appliances. Okay, we're never going to have a downdraft gas range put in. I'm putting in a, uh, a new dishwasher and a new side-by-side -side refrigerator with a brushed nickel finish on it. So that's where we are right now. And so uh, I'll be taking periodic videos of progress. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, it's Bobby Nesbitt back with you on the kitchen renovation project. Uh, I'm out here and I just finished breaking up the last cabinet. As you can see, all of the cabinets that were removed from the kitchen are out here, broken down, and I'm waiting for my trash guy to come pick them up uh, next week. Okay, we're going to go back into the house, and I'll show you how far we've gotten with the tear out on the kitchen. Okay. As you can see, I've uh, erected a, uh, a floor-to-ceiling plastic drop cloth, and what I'm doing is uh, maintaining all of the dust within the kitchen area so that dust won't uh, fly all through the house. So I'm going to keep the, uh, the homeowners happy with controlling the dust during construction. Okay, I'm going into the kitchen area. And as you can see, all of the cabinets and countertops and everything has been totally removed. This right here is where the uh, sink used to be. And uh, all the floor cabinets and wall cabinets are completely removed throughout the kitchen area. Okay. And Still got the stove there for the customer to use for convenience during construction. 
and also the refrigerator. And uh, now what I want to do is, is I want to install a, a wash sink, a laundry tub, right here where the kitchen sink used to be. And, what, and I, the reason I do that is so that the uh, homeowners that have running water to use in the kitchen area doing construction. So I do that to uh, try to minimize upsetting the household while I'm working here in the house. And so I'm going to do that uh, on my next uh, visit here, which will be uh, on Monday. And uh, this is how far we've gotten. And so the next stage will be more tear out. And I'm going to remove these bulkheads. These are coming out on both sides because the wall cabinets that I'm installing are going to be tall wall cabinets and they're going to go all the way up to the ceiling and they'll be trimmed with the crown molding across the top for a finished look so that's the reason I'm removing the bulkheads and I already told you in the intro video that this right here the built-in pantry is going to be removed as well because we're putting a pantry cabinet there and so that's where we are right now. So I'll see you in the next video. Oh, Bobby back with you here on the renovation kitchen project. Uh, we're at the final stage of tear out. Just want you to see where all the bulkheads have been torn out on both sides of the kitchen. Okay. And, uh, now what we're doing right now is I'm uh, taking out this wall here because I mentioned to you in the uh, introduction video that uh, we're going to open half of this wall from here on up so that there be openness between the kitchen and the family room. The customer uh, recommended uh, or wanted to have that done so that they can have eye-to-eye -eye contact with their guests between the family room and the kitchen while they're cooking in the kitchen. So, and then they want to have the openness uh, that is going to show once that wall is open. And so, as you can see, there's a lot of electrical work that has to be done. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the builder. Uh, didn't run the cables through the header of the wall partition so I'm going to have to extend the cables and properly run them through the header because I'm going to be putting cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and I got to have a flat uh, partition with no wires running in front of it. I have to do that on both sides and so there's a lot of electrical work that has to be done. All these cables have to be rerouted properly out of the way. So that's where we are right now. Get back to you on the next video. Hello, it's Bobby Nesbitt back with you on the kitchen remodeling project here. Uh, we've got a lot of work done since I've uh, posted the last video. Uh, if you was with me on the previous video, you knew that this wall I showed you had to be torn out. Well, if you, as you can see, it's all torn out. And... Uh, there's a lot of electrical wires running through this wall and I had to uh, reroute them and that's just about completed. I'm still doing the electrical work here. So this box right here that cuts the lights on throughout the house on the other side of the wall used to be right here. Now it's over here in the wall that's left over and uh, as you can see all the wires have been rerouted and uh, I'm still in the middle of the electrical part of this I have a couple more to do uh, where the uh, their cutter corner into the uh, where the uh, bulkhead used to be and so I'm going to have to uh, run that through the header so I have plenty of space and a flat surface to put my drywall prior to uh, plastering and sanding and painting and getting uh, the wall ready for new cabinets because I'm using tall cabinets and they're going all the way up so we have to get all this cleared out. So the electrical work uh, is almost done and uh, after that it'll be time to start
closing up uh, the wall and ceiling and uh, getting the walls and ceilings uh, in preparation for plastering, sanding, and painting in that order. So I'll get back with you in the next video. Alright, Bobby Nesbitt back with you on the kitchen renovation project. I just want to let you see how far we've gotten. All the electrical work has been done and I immediately started the drywall work and closed up everything. So all the drywall work is done and I also did the plastering and sanding. Okay. And so now it's time to start priming the new work and the old work. Speaking of the wall surfaces and ceiling. I'm about to do that right now and uh, and once the priming is done uh, I'm going to get a piece of the ceiling, the existing ceiling color because I need to match that with the kitchen finished paint because the uh, ceiling runs into the family room and the hallway so I gotta continue the same color throughout and after that, that is done I'm going to take down this plastic drop cloth and I'm going to repair what the tape pulled away from the uh, drywall ceiling and get that plastered in. And so once all that's done, it'll be time for cabinet installation. So I'll see you on the next video. Hello, back with you on the kitchen project here. I'm getting ready to do the finished paint coat. And uh, I want you to see the kitchen area from this angle. I'm, I'm on the uh, family room side and as you can see all of the priming is done and uh, I uh, put drop cloths up against this wall here to uh, keep paint off all of the uh, items here and uh, this is the angle right here that you're accustomed to seeing it from and that's the family room and the hallway and the ceiling from the kitchen flows all the way through from the foyer area coming in from the uh, garage all the way through to the family room and into the hallway and so the color is going to be consistent and I'm going to stop it right here. The homeowner decided that they're going to have the rest of the house painted at a very close to, um, future date. And so I'll stop it right here on the ceiling. And uh, that's where we are right now. So uh, just wanted to see, show you what it looks like. And this wall right here that was open it used to be here and as you can see it has a nice open fill now a recommendation from the homeowners so they can have a flow between the family room and the kitchen to have eye to eye contact with their family and guests and that was a very good idea and so I just wanted to see where we are right now so I'll see you on the next video cabinet installation and we were back here with the kitchen renovation project. It's been a while since I've talked to you because there was a delay. There was a discrepancy in my cabinet uh, order. Uh, the cabinet company shorted me one wall cabinet and they sent me the wrong size sink base. I was supposed to get a 36 inch for a double sink and instead they sent me a 30 inch. So. That delayed us for about a week and a half, so now I was able to uh, get those uh, right cabinets and uh, finish the cabinet installation, except for one. Here's the sink face that's about to go in today, and that's going to go right here. And that place there, as you can see, uh, all of the wall cabinets are in, and I was able to get the uh, crown molding around the wall cabinets there 
Got the uh, microwave in in place. And as soon as I get this sink base in place, I can get my granite top people out here to measure for the granite countertops. And hopefully that will be this afternoon. And so that's where we are right now. Uh, I'm also going to uh, put in the uh, under cabinet lighting. As you can see, I already fished the uh, wiring behind the cabinets. And uh, I got the new receptacles in place. They're all black. Okay. And so, I'll see you in the next video. Hello, uh, we're here back at the uh, kitchen remodeling project. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm laying the bamboo floor covering. All right, I want you to see what I'm doing. I've got just about uh, two thirds of the floor done already, and uh, this is the glue down bamboo flooring, and. Uh, we're looking pretty good so far, so uh, just want you to see what's going on today. I should have this done very, very shortly. And once this is done, I'm going to let it settle and set overnight. And when I come in tomorrow, I'm going to trim it out around the baseboard with shoe molding. And, uh, and right here, I've uh, erected this and built this half wall behind the uh, sink cabinets this is going to be a bar top I'm going to put a finished panel on the back of it that matches the cabinetry and uh, the granite uh, fabricator has already been here and measured already so the granite tops are supposed to be ready and installed on next week and so the granite top We'll go right here for the bar, and then we'll have the regular countertop granite on top of the base cabinets. And uh, I got the uh, ceiling fan installed. And so uh, we're getting really, really close to the finish line. So uh, I'll see you on the next video. Okay, this is Bobby, uh, part of the kitchen remodel. Uh, today we finally got the granite tops in. The fabricators are setting the granite tops in place and doing the final uh, uh, edging or whatever they have to do to get things in place. And I'm going to want you to see the process. Okay, here's the top right there being worked on. We're going to go in, inside and see what's already in place. Okay, we got the uh, fabricators setting the granite tops in place. All the stuff had to be leveled and uh, done a certain way so it'll be right. And so I'm just staying out of their way so they can do their thing.
It's a very, very nice color, granite. And uh, as you can see, there's the uh, under counter sink that's going to be attached to the bottom of the uh, granite top there. And so I'm basically staying out of the way while they do their thing. And then uh, after this is over tomorrow, I can uh, prepare for the uh, ceramic glass uh, backsplash that's going around underneath the cabinet and on top of the granite countertop. So that's where we are right now. So I'll see you in the next video. All right, we're back with the kitchen renovation project. I uh, just want to let you see what I'm doing. Today is uh, part nine, and I've got all my uh, granite countertops uh, protected. And uh, what I'm doing now is the glass tile installation for the backsplash. I've started on here on the oven side of the kitchen, and uh, I got my receptacles taped up and protected. And that's that's what we're doing right there. I'm making my way around. All right, and that's the tile we're using. Now over here, uh, as I get to the edge, I'm using this metal trim right here. Uh, this looks a lot neater uh, when you're coming to an edge, on the outer edge, and opposed to using the bull nose or something like that. Sometimes the bull nose tile takes away from the pattern of the tiles, so uh, it was a great invention when they came out with this stuff right here. You can take the pattern all the way over to the edge. All right, so I'm going to make my way around, and uh, that's the project for today. So I'll see you in the next video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I finally come to the finish day, completion day of this kitchen remodel project. And uh, I want to share with you what it looks like. We're going to walk in. And here's the finished product. There you are. I'm going to go real slow so you can have a good look at what I'm looking at. This took a lot of time and patience and paying very close attention to detail which is what I like to do it makes all the difference in the world here's the bamboo floor Jenner dishwasher. Controls are on the top. I got a double stainless steel sink. A single hand faucet pull out. Got glass backsplash black receptacles under cabinet lighting and granite countertops all the way around you got two lazy susans one on each side Gen Air gas range with a down draft in the middle. Got a microwave, Samsung microwave, microwave range hood. 
got a Samsung side by side refrigerator with a ice dispenser, water dispenser. I put in the pull out trays in the pantry cabinet. <laughs> I want you to see the uh, the bar area we got on the back of the sink. This whole bar wall is custom made by yours truly. Uh, one thing I got for the uh, customer is that this is a receptacle and it has two USB ports for uh, family and friends who want to charge their phones while they're in this area. And now I want you to see what it looks like on the dining room side. Okay, I want you to see what it looks like on the family room side. So here's the family room. And the customer wanted this wall open before construction started and uh, I open it up so there would be uh, an open uh, communication between uh, family and friends in the family room area and who's ever in the kitchen area and so now there's an open uh, feel and eye-to-eye -eye contact between the two areas here. Now also uh, added something to this project that the customer uh, I didn't know they were getting. I just wanted to uh, do something special to this kitchen remodel project and that was I installed three pendant lights that's directly over the bar area. And so that was my contribution to this project. And so I want to thank you all for uh, uh, going through this journey with me as I put out the uh, progress videos from uh, step or part one up to part nine, I believe part ten, this will be the final project. And so if you have anybody that you know needs some good uh, remodeling work, well, I appreciate your recommendation. New Life Handyman Services. My job is to make your dream become a reality. Thank you for your time.